Hello all my Kenvians, Papa Ken here and welcome to episode, I actually forgot what episode number it is, episode 27 of Discovering Steven Universe. And today the episode I'm going to be talking about is Space Race, which admittedly the name was um, a bit misleading, especially if you saw the previous episode and went with my, was it a theory or was it just kind of my guess as to the name? I think it was just a guess as to the name, but... Uh, yeah, this episode, I, I feel like we're kind of getting into that, and I, uh, let me say this, when I say an episode is filler, I mean it doesn't focus on, like, the primary plot of what's going on. I'm not just saying it's a throwaway episode, <clears throat> or at least that's kind of the direction I'm going in, because I'm pretty sure I might have done that with some of the old Doctor Who episodes, but I'm rambling again. Let's get into my favorite parts of this episode, starting with probably one of the most bizarre things <laughs> that I've seen in a long time, but the crying breakfast friends cartoon and the crying breakfast friends figures in and of themselves we have the stickers we have the cartoon and with that first favorite part i'm actually going to jump ahead to my quote of the episode or one of my quotes of the episode which comes from greg while him and steven are watching this cartoon of these breakfast items crying <laughs> and it's kind of how I feel with some cartoons these days. Uh, again, there's a lot that I haven't watched. But uh, basically, Greg says, Yeesh, I must be getting old. I used to like cartoons. <laughs> and, I mean, to a great degree, I still do love cartoons. I, I love the direction that cartoons are taking these days. Steven Universe being a wonderful example. But, at the same time, I've seen some, um, either just on Cartoon Network commercials or Adult Swim is where some of the stranger ones pop up, and I just kind of feel like, huh, I used to like cartoons a lot, now I'm not so sure this is my kind of thing. But again, thankfully, shows like Steven Universe are here to, um, lift my spirits as a uh, such as it is. Yes. But anyway, moving on from there, my second favorite part of this episode is just one of the elements that keeps repeating in this show, and I love it. It does admittedly annoy me from time to time, but Steven's heart, like his childlike nature, and he just has such a great desire to make Pearl happy. He sees how happy just the mere thought of going back into space, getting to visit these planets, just how happy that makes Pearl that he really legitimately does want to make her happy. And that's just something that I really enjoy. That's something that, you know, isn't just, you know, something specific to kids, but it really does, especially from Steven, come from that heartfelt place, that childlike wonder of, I could do this, I could make a rocket ship and send Pearl into space. Their, um, <laughs> their first attempt at a rocket ship aside, <laughs> which was kind of sad. Oh, uh, but anyway, um, uh, moving on from there, my third favorite part of this episode is just, it's, it's very briefly mentioned, but... And especially after going back and watching some of the first few episodes with my niece Lily um, this past weekend, I, I really put the pieces together. <laughs> but um, the, there's that underlying theme that Greg's family, or at least may, maybe his ancestors, and you know, just like extended family and all that, are hoarders. Which definitely shows in um, in Greg's storage unit, and then also the barn that belonged to his. Uh, did they did he say it was his aunt and uncle? I, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. But yeah, just <laughs> um, I I didn't write down his exact words, but it was something along the lines of I think we might have a problem. <laughs> I just and I just I I loved that little you know, 
for some it may be subtle for for me it seems subtle for others maybe not so much but i definitely liked that joke i thought it was done really well but moving on from there my fourth favorite part of this entire episode is just greg's reactions in general to everything to um the uh crying breakfast friends which i can definitely relate to and his reactions to Steven wanting to build the rocket ship, wanting to do all of these different things. And just each time, the reactions were just perfect. And I can see a... a while Greg is definitely one of the more chilled, laid-back dads out there. <laughs> Fictional dads, I know. But, um... That he has legitimate concern not only for his well-being but also Steven's well-being so just every every the every reaction he has throughout this episode is just perfectly done and it just it really made me laugh every time except for maybe when he grounds Steven which was still kind of a humorous bit actually a lot of that was pretty humorous so yeah even the grounding part I'm sorry <laughs> but moving on from there, my fifth favorite part of this episode is, an, is very simple and it's adorable, but Steven's caterpillar sleeping bag. Or I don't know if it's supposed to be something else, but to me it looks like a caterpillar and it is adorable and I want to get that for my niece. Well, I want to get that for, I want that to get that for all the little kids so they can be bundled up in a little caterpillar and just be adorable. Yes. But anyway, moving on. Um, I wonder if they've actually made that a thing since this episode aired. If they haven't, uh, well, someone in marketing, you need to get on that. <laughs> moving on. My sixth favorite part of this episode is the fact that when Pearl first gets there and she's explaining to them uh, why their rocket didn't work and what they would need in order to do it and she just makes this comment of this chair is disgusting and then the fact that that disgusting chair gets used in like her rocket ship uh, although you know albeit the <laughs> rocket doesn't exactly do well but just the fact that she actually used that despite the fact that she found it disgusting I thought it was I thought it was really funny just a nice little background joke there just, I, I, I that's one of those things that I don't think is subtle necessarily but I can see how for like if someone isn't really paying attention they're just like oh she has a chair but in my mind I was just like ha! <laughs> she's using the chair she was found disgusting earlier I don't know but all right moving on to my seventh and final favorite part of this episode and it's it's more because it's my favorite because of the idea and the theme around it and possibly what may come of it in the future but Pearl's obsession with getting back into space like at first she just doesn't think that she'll ever get to go back because we even start out with the episode with her saying you know I'm stuck here and Steven says, with me. And she says, right, with you. Which, I've actually watched the episode twice now, and I, in my mind, I got different inflections from her, or a different interpretation of what she was saying each time. Like The first time I watched the episode, I, I heard more disappointment in her voice. Just kind of like, not meaning to but sort of, you know, brushing Stephen aside, just saying, that's right, with you, yes. You, just, you know, it's just an offhand comment, doesn't really mean anything to her. But for someone that might be listening, or, you know, if she were to say that to someone other than Stephen, who just loves her unconditionally, they might, you know, take that a little bit hurtfully, <laughs> you know, considering her tone. But then the second time I watched it, that when she says that to Stephen that first time, I felt it didn't feel dismissive so much as just sad, which is what I think they were trying to portray in this episode and in that specific moment most of all. Like she clearly loves Stephen, all of them do. 
they have um, their own alien ways of interpreting human emotions and all that. But she, uh, uh, she does love Stephen, and she's just incredibly sad that she may never get to go to outer space again someday. That she, that those warp pads that used to transport them all over space will probably never work again. And that's actually not even the main point I was wanting to talk about, but yeah, just uh, that scene right there, I loved it. And then expanding from that, uh, going into more the obsession side of things, once she actually does get the rocket ship built and her and Steven are flying up, um, her obsession nearly gets them both killed. Like. Once, it, she said herself it was just going to be a test flight. And, well, I guess her interpretation of a test flight might have been a little bit different, since she said she was, they were just going to jump over to the next star system or galaxy, whatever. But all the same, like her obsession with going into space, despite seeing that the craft was falling apart and Steven himself was scared. Like, Steven was afraid of what was going to happen and just she almost let her obsession with that deep need that deep desire to go back out into space allow herself to kill not only herself but Steven who is infinitely again he's powerful he has the crystal gem powers but he's half human whereas Pearl is a crystal gem she is far more durable than he is. So yeah, I just... The whole idea of all of that... I definitely got lost in the rambling there on my last point, but... Yeah, just... Uh, there, was a, there was a lot for me to really like about this episode. But, I did have an annoyance with it. And... I think part of it kind of boils down to... Her obsession, more than anything, but... Part of it feels like it might have just been uh, something they left a little bit inconsistent in the writing, something along those lines. But my annoyance is that Pearl ignores her own recommendation for Steven to have a space suit. And I, I, I did find that kind of strange that she takes the time to suit herself, but in taking off and with what I can only assume was the intention of going into space not materializing him a suit or anything like that I found it very uh, from my perspective at least very unlike Pearl because you know that there have there have definitely been times she's a more than a little narcissistic um, but I just I found it bizarre that this obsession led her to just kind of, at that point, literally look over Stephen, um, and, and 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 you know protecting him, keeping him safe, and, you know ignoring her own words from earlier. That was just that was something that annoyed me. But it's not. I guess it's only half an annoyance because maybe that's what they were going for with the story. But it just it. At the time, or well, at both times when I watched the episode, it felt more like an inconsistency than something done on purpose. But again, I could be wrong on that part. But okay, moving on from there, uh, well, as always, if you have any of your own favorites or annoyances slash least favorites, leave them in the comments down below. Now moving on to my assumptions on what the tracks of the episode would be called. Um, I think that the music playing during the takeoff, when Greg is panicking, trying to call them, and like Pearl just has this obsessed, like vacant look in her eyes. And just the music playing during that segment is just, it's, it, it keeps you gripped. Like what's going on, has you hold on just kind of like oh, oh, what's gonna happen next are they actually going to go to space but the music just worked so well with that scene it was it was just perfect but okay uh, and if you have any of your own favorite tracks and you actually know the name of it 
you know, as always, leave comments down below. Now, um, I mentioned my first quote of the episode, which was Greg saying, uh, yeesh, I must be getting old. I used to like cartoons, which I definitely related to, but <laughs> the, the best line of this episode, or really it's a line of dialogue between Steven and Pearl right at the end. <laughs> it's just, it it made me just crack up to the point where I had to pause the episode. Even though it was right at the end, but I had to pause it because I was laughing that hard. And it's this. Uh, well, starting with Pearl and then Steven. I'm so sorry. I almost got us killed. I'm used to it. <laughs> I can't. It's, uh, and it's so much better, obviously, with uh, execution from the actual characters. But I just, I found that to be another part of Steven that I just absolutely love. It's just like, he, he loves the Crystal Gems. He's, at this point, pretty used to being put in danger's way unintentionally most of the time. <laughs> so yeah, I am... Just that, that is by far the line of the episode for me. If any of you all have, you know, some other quotes that you find a bit better, again, please do feel free to uh, let me know what they are. But for, for me, those two lines, the one from Greg and then the dialogue between Pearl and Steven, just absolutely make this episode. And uh, before I get into my overall thoughts, um, I do have a theory, and it kind of, it hits on some of the points that I've mentioned already, especially having to do with Pearl's obsession to get into space. Um, I feel like Pearl's obsession over certain things, not necessarily people or places, just it's clear that there are certain things she does obsess over. One of which um, I would comment on here, but I've seen the next episode, so I'm going to bring that up the next time. But I feel like her obsession over these certain things are going to lead to big problems in the future. I, I don't know what they are, I don't know what they could be, or I don't know, maybe it'll be just more drama than any actual huge negative occurrences that will come of it but I feel like they're slowly starting to show more and more of her obsession with certain things and how that affects not only herself but the group in this case you know almost potentially resulting in Steven's death so yeah I am I really do that I, I think Pearl's obsessions whatever they may be, eventually there's either going to come one so big that it possibly drives a rift between her and the Crystal Gems, possibly temporarily, maybe permanently, I don't know. But I, I, I do think that something is going to happen in the near or far future, as far as that goes. But as for my overall thoughts on this episode, I really liked it. It was one of those that, unlike the previous one, which felt a bit, mm, for me, uh, especially in regard to the art, which by the way, the art in this episode uh, picked up the quality once again. It looked really good. But um, yeah, just like it was one of those, not, not a super serious episode, but one that managed to sneak in the serious heart, just heart-wrenching parts right at the end, and it kept it super compact to the point where, you know, to the point where we really got to experience some of Pearl's feelings without them taking the entire episode to focus on that, which is one thing that I'm seeing in Steven Universe more and more, I'm starting to notice it more and more, that that's the way that they really do things. That they take these tiny pockets of story, these tiny pockets of character motivation, 
and they fit them in little like little hidden puzzle pieces or maybe not necessarily hidden but like a little puzzle piece within each episode sometimes there are multiple pieces but for this one it's really that at least i feel it's that core of pearl's longing to go back into outer space pearl's obsessions and what that could lead to i don't know but yeah, that's just my over. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. Again, really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, looking forward to talking about the next episode again, since I've already watched that. So I'll probably record that um, after I get this uploaded. So yes. All right. Until next time, everyone. I am Papa Ken. As always, please do leave your thoughts down below about this episode. Um, there's going to be some reaction videos coming up in the nearish future not super soon but in the nearest future but yeah uh, anyway I've been rambling on too long as always so until next time everyone I'm Papa Ken and I'll see you on the next episode